so hello friends welcome to this teacher videsh so today i would like to let you know about the four phd positions announced by tampere university finland and these phd positions are in the faculty of natural science and faculty of engineering so these phd positions the duration of these phd positions are four years so this is fully funded phd positions but definitely there will be review after the two years and this is in all countries doesn't matter in finland or in other european countries so after two years there will be the review about the progress of your phd so the research field for this position is physics chemistry environmental technology energy technology and bioengineering understand so these are the five research fields you can apply for the number of positions are four but these are the research fields you can apply for so what is the requirement yes so the first requirement you should have the master's degree in either bioengineering energy technology environmental technology physics or chemistry okay okay so but one basic requirement or i can say the essential requirement is that you have to attach the letter of intent and that letter of intent basically should be signed by the applicant and the supervisor so the list of supervisor can be found here i will show you directly so this is the list of supervisors yes so you can go through this list of supervisors and you can find the suitable supervisor of your field and you have to contact him directly via email and then just you can tell okay i want to apply for the phd position or the doctoral position in this field and definitely he will he will contact you and then you can make your research plan up to one page and uh, then it will be signed by you and your supervisor and that documents also needed to be attached okay and that letter of intent will uh, also like include your motivation like letter of motivation will be included in this letter of intent yes and the research plan yes so the letter of intent is equal to the letter of motivation plus research plan and it will be signed by you and your supervisor okay okay so this is the responsible supervisors yes so you can go through the list of supervisors here and you can even like in like click here for example this is from bioengineering chemistry engineering and energy and environmental technology yes so you can even check like inside if you click here then you can check okay the supervisor what is the research interest yes so you can go through and select carefully your supervisor and contact him or her directly so this is the link okay so overall how they how the selection will go on like so they have to check first your uh first they have to check your master thesis right what grades you got and what is the like uh, merits in your master thesis the weightage of your master thesis and then second uh, about the like they will go through the bachelor and masters grades right all together and third is about the list of publications yes your publication list and fourth is other academic merits and some other experience related to the the uh, doctoral topic or the phd field you are interested for so other merits for example internship or some project work you already have the experience they will also go through your cv and the last one is your letter of intent yes i already mentioned so these are these all five documents are most important documents they will go through before selecting for your first round so i will go through again the list of documents so the first documents are is a letter of intent and it should be not more than 1 to 2 pages yes and that letter of intent will contain motivational statement and preliminary research plan signed by you and your supervisor second is your cv and your cv should be based on the tank template okay what is the tank template let's go through and this is the link for that tank format like so what is the tank format tank for format is nothing like you you need to create a document right the cv by yourself but you should have all these details for example personal details yes surname first name researcher id if you have yes date of the cv and you must have i think orc id researcher id if you not you can create by yourself as well okay and the degree certificates the information about yes when did you complete so please go through this like uh, format or the instructions any before preparing your cv other education yes language skills what is your native language and what other language skills you have what is the about the current employment or previous employment or this is about yes career breaks if you had family leave or something like that research funding or grants if you worked in some projects you 
you you had some grant so you have to research your output yes what number of publications patents right some software or some technical skills you developed or whatever so you know so you can include here so you have to prepare your cv according to this format yes so please remember that's why because no other formats will be accepted you have to also include batch like bachelor's and master's transcripts or degree certificates all you should include yes uh, and also like uh, if your degree certificates are not in english you have to provide the official translation as well okay now about the information about the research field and uh, research groups like for example if you are applying for you already know this so i already mentioned the list of supervisors so you can check but the like for example what kind of research is going on in this uh, like uh, groups in bioengineering or environmental technology or a physics group or something like that so these are the links you can go through yes and you have to check maybe i can show you uh, if you want to get more information about the research group and research field so these are the website you can see here this one tuni.fien about us physics and chemistry and advanced materials and bio and uh, circular economy so if i click on this one for example this one so you can go to physics and you can see what is going and what is the research and for example you can click here and you can see what research is going yes and what is about the what infrastructure they have for the research so you can go through all these details yes here okay so you understand right so now about the salary so minimum salary for the phd uh, scholar or doctoral candidate or doctoral student is 2500 euro per month and uh, based on your performance for example some like if you get the funding for some other project uh, along with your supervisor you will definitely get more money right and the, uh, like for example to participate in the conferences or publishing in the journal uh, you will get extra money for that as well and all other benefits because phd candidates or not candidates phd scholars or doctoral scholars or doctoral students are considered as an employee in Finland. So it does not matter you are a doctoral student, but you will be considered as a full-time employee and you will get all the benefits, right? For example, you will get the healthcare benefits, you will get the, uh, as a students, you will get some discount in the, for example, in the uh, local bus transport, something, something like that. Uh, if you have the spouse, uh, he or she may also get the unemployment allowance as well. So it's overall, I just wanted to say that you will be considered as a full time employee and you will get all the benefits like uh, like other employees get in Finland and Finland, you know, like as far as concerned to the social security benefits, number one in the world. After PhD in Finland, yes. And I do not want to mention other country after completion of PhD, even before completion of PhD, most of the students, they get absorbed in the industry or or they can get like, uh, for example, postdoc positions. But this time in Finland, as I see, like is my personal experience, like most of the doctoral candidates, they are now moving to the industry. So this is all I wanted to inform you. And last date for this application is 30th of March. So do not wait. Just uh, search your supervisor first and also contact directly via email and just uh, start preparing the letter of intent first this is the first time first thing you have to do okay and there are like you can check like my channel so you have the how to prepare the document how to prepare the letter of motivation a lot of information you will get here right and if you want to know more about the Finland and how much benefits how many benefits you can how much benefit you or your spouse can get like other benefits, child care benefits health care benefits you can visit my other channel that is desi teacher in europe that is totally dedicated to the informative videos about Finland. okay and if you need my help to prepare the documentation or whatever if you need any any time you can contact me through the my instagram yes so you can send me the message and then we will we can fix the conversation or some video call or something like that so i can help you so thank you very much have a good day